This is the another example on Taylor series method. See, solve dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 3 into e power x and a given initial condition is y at 0 is 0. Okay, using Taylor series method and hence estimate the value of y of 0 0.2. First of all, we have to find out the solution of this initial value problem using Taylor series method. In that solution, we have to replace x is equal to 0 0.2. Okay. So, first write the given initial value problem. Given initial value problem is dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 3 power x, comma, y at 0 is equal to 0. Take it equation number 1. Okay. So, compare the given initial condition with the general form, which is y at x0 is equal to y0. Entire in this chapter, the general form of the initial condition is y at x0 is equal to y0. So, what are the x0 x value? x0 value is 0. And uh, what about y0 value? 0. Okay. Both are provided as 0. Don't forget these values. Now, write the formula of Taylor series expansion. We know that the Taylor series, the Taylor series expansion for the solution of this type of initial value problem is is y at x is equal to y naught plus x minus x naught whole power 1 by 1 factorial into y naught dash plus x minus x naught whole square by 2 factorial into y naught double dash plus x minus x naught whole cube by 3 factorial into y naught triple dash. So, x the next term is x naught x minus x naught whole power 4 by 4 factorial into y naught fourth derivative plus so on. Take it equation number capital A. Okay. Now we are going to find out the values of y naught dash. Already we know y naught. Y naught is provided as 0 and uh, we have to find out y naught dash and y naught double dash, y naught triple dash, y naught four, y naught fourth derivative. Okay. So in this method we have to find out the three or four derivatives of the given function. Okay. See. From the given problem, already we know that dy by dx can be written as y dash. y dash is provided as 2y plus 3e power x. From this, what is the expression of y naught dash? Whenever we have the variable, just write 0 in the suffix of the variable. 2y naught okay, plus 3 into e power x naught and replace the values. What, what is y naught value? 0. 2 times of 0 is 0 plus 3 into e power 0. So, y naught double dash, y naught dash is equal to 3. Okay. y naught dash is equal to 3. Now, we have to find out another derivative. Take derivative with respect to x now. Already here we have the first derivative. If you take another derivative with respect to x, it becomes y double dash. So, derivative of y is y dash plus 3 into derivative of e power x is e power x. Now, what is the expression of y naught double dash now? 2 y naught dash okay, plus 3 e power x naught. Replace the values. Okay, Already we got y naught dash value as 3. So, 2 into 3 plus 3 into e power 0 which is 1. So, 2 3 is a 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. This is the value of y naught double dash. Now calculate another derivative which is y triple dash. Okay. So already here we have first derivative for y. So it becomes 2y double dash. If we take derivative on both sides with respect to x, left hand side becomes y triple dash because already second order derivative is there. If you take another derivative, it becomes y triple dash. Okay. So 2y double dash plus 3 into derivative of e power x is again e power x only. Now what is y naught? triple dash 2 y naught double dash plus 3 into e power x naught replace the values 2 into what is y naught double dash from the previous value 9 okay this is the value of 
why not double dash plus 3 into e power 0 e power 0 is anything power 0 is 1 so that's why it is 3 2 nines are 18 so totally it is 21 now calculate another derivative which is fourth derivative so it becomes y triple dash because already second derivative is there if you take another derivative it becomes triple dash plus 3 into derivative of e power x is again e power x so y not fourth derivative becomes 2 into y not triple dash plus 3 into e power x not writing this expression is very very important from the derivative so 2 into what is y not triple dash 21 plus 3 into e power 0 so 221s are 42 plus 3 it would be 45 and so on okay similarly we can find out the remaining all derivatives also substitute these all values in a in the Taylor series formula so from equation number a implies y at x is equal to what is the first term y not y not is already provided as 0 plus x minus x naught what is x naught x naught is again 0 so it is not necessary to write x minus 0 every time simply we will get x by 1 factorial into y naught dash what is y naught dash value 3 plus x square by 2 factorial into y naught double dash which is 9 plus x cube by 3 factorial into y naught triple dash which is 21 plus x power 4 by 4 factorial into 45 plus so on. See the next step y at x is equal to so 3 times of x is 3x and uh, 9 by 2 factorial is nothing but 9 by 2 x square which is the next step and uh, this is 21 by 3 factorial 3 factorial is nothing but 6 so 21 by 6 can be written as 7 over 2 ok so 7 by 2 x cube and next this is 45 by 4 factorial so 45 by 4 factorial is nothing but 24 so it would be 15 over 8 so plus 15 by 8 x power 4 plus 1 up to infinity this is the solution of is the solution of given initial value problem one okay now we have to find out y of 0 0.2 for y of 0 0.2 it is enough to replace x is equal to 0 0.2 put x is equal to 0 0.2 so you will get y at 0 0.2 is equal to 3 times of 0 0.2 plus 9 by 2 0 0.2 whole square plus 7 by 2 0 0.2 whole cube plus 15 by 8 into 0 0.2 whole power 4 okay by operating in scientific calculator you will get the answer as 0 0.8110 approximately you can easily check it in your calcis this is the way to solve the given initial value problem by using taylor series method thank you